Hi, I'm Ellie, the designer of Wallbreakers Advent of the Kenneth. Wallbreakers was recently added to Tabletopia, an online portal for playing virtual board games. As I was setting up the game, I learned a few cool tricks for using the Tabletopia editor. Here are the four tricks which I found most useful. Trick number one. Objects are automatically synchronized with the editor. I will click on Edit Setup to enter the Tabletopia editor where I can add objects and move objects around. Your game pieces are managed through the Tabletopia Objects folder. I always keep it open in a separate tab so that I can quickly switch back and forth. When you create a new object, it goes through a publishing process that takes a few seconds. Then, in the Setup editor, you can refresh the objects gallery to see it. Let's create a new Ruknadin Kurshach card. I will click on Create Object, choose Card, drag and drop the art, and click Save. Now I will switch back to my Editor tab and refresh the Objects Gallery by clicking on the game's name. And here is the new card, ready to be added to the game. No need to refresh the page. Trick number two, image size translates to real-life dimensions. Most of the virtual games on Tabletopia are based on real-life, physical games, and I am guessing your game is the same. When importing game pieces into Tabletopia objects, note that the image size translates into physical dimensions. 10 pixels are 1 millimeter, which means 254 pixels are an inch. I have two game pieces here, the Rukundin Kurshach card and the Wallbreakers turn tracker. I will load them into paint.net just to see the image sizes. The card is 630 pixels by 880 pixels, which translates into a Euro-sized poker card, 63 millimeters by 88 millimeters. The turn tracker is 508 pixels by 1526 pixels, or 2 inches by 6 inches, the size of this component in real life. This allows you to create an online version, which is as similar to the physical version as possible. Trick number three, shift click to pick multiple objects. I am used to image editing software, where left clicking typically operates on the canvas and panning is done using the mouse wheel. However, Tabletopia is different. Left click pans around the playfield unless you are hovering above an object, in which case you will pick it up. This becomes tricky when the object is small or when you have many objects, such as a deck of cards. This is where Shift left click comes into play. I will hold Shift while clicking, then drag to form a box. Now I selected all of the objects in the box, and I can move them around. Personally, I got into the habit of always Shift clicking when editing wall breakers, even when picking just one or two objects, just to make sure that I don't miss them. Trick number four, creating a deck of cards. Since Tabletopia is structured around single objects, Creating a deck of cards requires some finesse. First, let's create a new group and then create object and card deck. I am going to drag and drop the card back, then scroll down and click on Upload Images to upload the front images. I will select all of the images and then click Open and they will start uploading to Tabletopia. Now I can go back to the Setup Editor, refresh by clicking on the game name and here is the folder. I will drag and drop the folder into the play area, and all of the cards are going to pop up in a grid. Looks pretty, but not very functional. I will then use shift click to pick up all of the cards except one. Here is the finicky part. I will pick up the cards from the corner, then drag it on top of the one card I did not pick. I am looking for a magic spot at the center of that card where it becomes orange. So, orange, good, not orange, bad. When the bottom card becomes orange, I will release the mouse button. And we have a deck. Now I can use shift left click to select it and move it around. I hope these tricks are of some help to you. You can help me by checking out Wallbreakers. The Tabletopia link is in the description below. And by subscribing to this channel. Ciao!